All right, so last time I did this course, I actually made an animated logo before for the first one, but I've changed the logo up. I've created a new logo again, of course. So now I've got to animate this logo. Now the first logo, it had some lines in it, so there's a bit more visual interest in that way. And this time it's just like pure text. So I've got to think how I can get creative with that and, you know, animate something. It doesn't have to be over the top, but creating movement, I feel, just adds something to it. And it's something different. Like, you don't see that many people with animated logos. It is something that I'm starting to see a little bit more and more as, you know, video is becoming very popular. And people are trying to find ways to, you know, make things a bit more interactive and add movement. And considering I'm going to be doing videos for the course, having a logo that's animated rather than still is just going to add that extra element and it's going to make it more exciting. And it's just going to make it a little bit more interesting, really. So I finally got this logo animation done and it's sent me a bit mad because I wanted to make it an SVG to put on my website and I just could not work it out. Um, there's all these crazy plugins, all this code stuff, I tried so hard to do it and it just wasn't working. And so then I decided well I'll just make it an animated GIF instead and then that was also a nightmare because my file was so huge so I had to reduce the size and I finally got it done. Just dropped one of my boys off at preschool and it's really sunny and lovely at the moment springtime is in the air and it's just this really uplifting feeling at the moment which is really motivating me and getting me going um basically where i'm up to at the moment with the course i've just finished writing the color stuff and starting to work on the typography lesson so i'm currently at i think around 23,000 words so i think the last video i was at 16,000. so i've written quite a bit more since then so i've got to work on the typography lessons and then the final wrap-up lessons where you start to pull everything together to create that style guide and then we'll be able to move on to all the other parts actually producing it so once the writing's finally done then i can work on the lesson notes the workbooks the videos all those things which i'm really excited to get into because to me that's the fun part the writing is a bit that you know really takes a lot of brain energy because you really got to think it all through Just try and put it together in a way that makes it really easy for people because you've got to think how can i write this in a way that just makes it really streamlined really easy for people to digest the information know what to do next really take them through a journey because that's sort of the difference between just you know finding information online versus paying for information because online there's just so much out there it could be overwhelming it's hard to try and know how to put all the pieces together whereas with a course it's just you know very step by step guiding you through and so that writing process can take a lot of thinking because I've really got to think how I want to take people through the journey and also how to word things in a way that just makes it really simple and easy to understand. But it really helps everything join together so you can really see how different things interrelate 
and it just makes everything make a lot more sense. So that's why it takes so much time to do the writing. So I'm excited to get that finished up, wrapped up, so that I can then move on to the fun stuff. Well, I call it fun stuff because I love designing. So I get to, you know, design all the workbooks and everything and then record the videos and do all the pretty visual side of things. So I just finished writing all about the typography lessons and started on the final mood boarding lesson. And as I was starting to write about creating a mood board, that final mood board, I realized that one of the things you want to include in there is inspiration for your logo. But I hadn't actually written very much about your logo and what you need to think about when it comes to finding that inspiration for that logo and the direction you want to go with it. And so because it's quite interrelated with typography, I thought that with the type lessons, I would add in a lesson all about logo. I'm not actually going to be teaching how to design a logo because this is all about the style direction, but it's more about the kind of logos that are out there and the kind of things that you should be looking for when you're trying to find inspiration for your logo. So you can start to find a direction that you want to go with it so that you'll be able to actually find some inspiration that you can put on that final mood board so you really have a good idea of the kind of logo that you're wanting to create. Really having that clarity around what it is that you actually want for your logo. But I'm feeling quite excited because it means that I'm really getting there with the writing it's not that much more to do once I've written these lessons about the logos that I suddenly decide I need to do plus the um, mood board and then the style guide lessons then all the writing is done and I can finally get on with the production phase of things <laughs> Guess what? I finished writing it.